when you buy the kilogram of bananas or apples, those weights are traceable to this laboratory. What we know is that they are changing with respect to each other. There's a, a, a diversion. We don't quite know why. And the big worry, of course, is that they might all be changing because we don't have a, an absolute reference. What's changing is the way we define the standards and gives us uh, the ability to do what we do to a much higher level of accuracy. There's been research going for decades and decades to continue to improve the measurement system. And we've got to a particular point where we can see a better system and we're ready to make that decision. By creating a very round sphere, you can accurately measure the diameter, which means you can accurately calculate the volume of the sphere and count the number of silicon atoms which are inside. We have strived so hard to make sure that the uncertainty on the changes are so low that it won't make a difference. If you imagine a tiny error in the, the mass of the kilogram and then expand that to the mass of a galaxy. So the exact definition of the kilogram clearly is one that underpins all that we do. So as technology changes, as our need for more and more accurate measurements grows, our definition is ahead of those needs. The Australian Academy of Science. Satisfy your curiosity.